Welcome to Hadoop Exam Learning Resources. In this session, we'll be covering the next problem, problem number 12, scenario based problem. So let's go to problem number 12 and see what exactly it is saying. So you have been given for line. So this is again scoop based problem since okay. So database details like as we have been getting in previous uh, exam, uh, previous questions as well. So please accomplish following import entire database such that it can be used as a hive table. So the question here we have to import the data into the hive warehouse directory. It must be created in the default schema. So there you don't have to provide any schema while importing. Also make sure each table file is partitioned in three files. So we have to three partitions must be created for each file at least. So how we can control it we will see it store all the java files in a directory called java output to evaluate the further what happens actually uh, when you run the scope uh, scoop in the background create the java files to import the data so these are plain java object representing your tables in the uh, database correct so now let's go and solve this problem so as it is given here in the drop or all the tables which we have created in previous problems before implementing the solution so log in to hive and execute the following command because we can now we don't want to overwrite or something so this is the exercise in practically when you are doing in real exam you you don't drop the things which are needed by the uh, exam evaluator to evaluate the things so be careful when you drop anything during your real exam so this is just to make our uh, system working uh, fine we will just drop this table from the hive schema which we have already created so let me go here and uh, go to the hive command using the just plain hive command and we will be by default in the default schema so uh, once we are in this we will see the tables which are in the mysql database so let it get start hive first once it is started we will uh, drop the tables which can be so we are by default in default schema so we can see there are a lot of tables but mysql has this table categories customers department kind of thing so we can drop this table okay uh, we, we are not going to drop this table because we need this tables in the uh, further sessions okay so let's drop this table all this table so what it does is actually in the background if this is these are the managed table okay so you must understand the managed and external table in context of hive if you don't understand then please visit Hadoop professional training and you can understand in depth hive uh, concepts okay so now we have dropped the tables which are already as part of uh, mysql database okay so let's go to the another shell and go to the mysql okay so go to mysql just okay just a minute so to connect to the mysql db you have to use the hyphen of a user detail dba as given in the simulator to connect to database and the password is cloud era and retail db is the database name so this is the string when you want to directly connect to the mysql just press the enter so we are in the mysql same commands show tables here work so these are the tables so we make sure we don't have these tables already in the uh, hive okay so categories is not there customers is not there departments is not there uh, order items and orders and products these tables are not there in hive so we should be go for uh, fire should go uh, and then check the from view whether we do have in the warehouse directory already this in place suppose these are not created as a managed table but we have stored something as a data file in warehouse directory that could also create a problem so go to the file browser okay uh, once we go in file browser user high warehouse directory we have to check we should not have the directory with the name of the table otherwise while importing it will create a problem as we are going to import the entire database so it, it would take longer as well so we we have to be careful because uh, whenever we are doing such thing it, it is the waste of time if we have to repeat the same thing okay so i don't think so we do have any directory related to our customer order and order items in this because we have dropped the table so underlying data is already dropped so now let's move to the, our exercise and uh, next step is like uh, check the warehouse directory like using the command line also you can do this like uh, hdfs dfs hyphen ls user high warehouse directory now the most important thing which is asked to make sure the table is partitioned in three files 
and must be created in default schema so we have to import all tables because we want to import the entire schema number of mappers would be three here hyphen m single hyphen okay remember it's not a double hyphen and connection is gdbc string user retail dba cloud era import and hive override this option will what it says if you have already the table in the uh, warehouse directory it will override the existing table so this is question is asking explicitly or not it's up to you whether you want to use this option here we are using this to just show you how, uh, how to override the existing files if we have but be careful in the real exam using such options because you already have created tables and you are using the hive override so whatever you have done can be lost uh, okay, so create a hive table and compress it. So because it is asking to use us the compression codec as well because it has given the compression codec in the exhaust in the data. I don't know whether um, they have not explicitly asked it, but we can use it as it has been given. And output directory is mandatory because it is asking like to store the Java output all the files inside this directory so let's go and uh, use this command as it is and for this okay so let's go to one of the terminal and for this command just i'm pressing enter so it will take little longer correct because we are uh, exp importing entire database again so let's before that what exactly is the next part is verify the work is accomplished or not correct so a hive show table select count so this is just verification so i just want to draw here what exactly we are doing okay so in case if you don't aware the scope i just want to repeat the things meanwhile the data scope so this is our rdbms rdbms okay so my mysql database and this is our hadoop uh, file system that is i would say this is i'm utilizing the time which is actually in the background uh, it is so this is hdfs for system so using scope okay uh, so this tool is called sql to hadoop okay scope means sql to uh, hadoop we are doing this so we are firing the command here using the scope tool what a scope tool is doing is actually oh sorry a scope tool is doing is like it read and all the tables which you are trying to import and create the pojo plain java object out of each table so getter setter methods and their fields and their data types and create the java files corresponding to this and map this java files create create the java files and while storing it uses this pojo files again and and create the data out of this and store in the hdfs file system and in the background in the hdfs file system actually it uses the it uses the uh, your what do you say uh, pojo again and using the map reduce algorithm map reduce uh, would be a job would be executed to store data in hdfs file system so this is the look and the data would be stored always in the directory so if your table name is category so then category directory would be created and inside the category directory your data would be stored so that is the way it happens in the like uh, I would say like the data would be stored so this is HDFS similarly scoop can support many other storage but that is the best storage is HDFS file system because we have been using the Hadoop uh, framework okay so that's uh, about the basic of scoop actually there are various parameters you have to remember for your real exam I would suggest remember because once you go and search for their documentations like the getting the spelling and is this correct is that is fine but if you try to search in real time uh, in the real exam then it would be little difficult to accomplish your assignment in time because there is two hours and and uh, they have give they will give you uh, almost 10 to 12 problems that the, every problem size is small to like some big problem uh, would be given to you in real exam so i would suggest 
uh, you you remember as much thing as possible to for your real exam later on you can forget it but for the exam you remember it because it would help you to deliver the faster way your solution so and again i would suggest please uh, subscribe to uh, youtube channel uh, where you uh, or vimeo channel where you are watching this video so whenever we update new videos you can get the uh, in uh, notifications of this uh, new video has been uploaded so that's our simulator so where we have published the question so we will be solving question by questions so in case it will also justify like the questions we have given other has the correct solutions okay if there is any mistake we can uh, like correct it as well so okay so now the process has finished okay so you can see like entire table has uh, all the all the tables have been uh, imported uh, okay so now let's go to the next step to verify our uh, import so go to hive and select count star from customers table um, okay like first go to the show tables and then do this thing okay so let's go to the hive we are already in hive okay so now we can see customers table is here so just select count one from customers table so ju just to get the count it is uh, actually firing the query and running the job that is map reduce job so it will take little time because um, to get even count it needs to run a map reduce job so that is the a thing actually high uh, a little bit slower compared to impala because it runs in the background this uh, complete map it is job to query your data so to make it faster there are many optimization way and the data is already in compressed format so it will take more longer time because uh, snappy codec uh, and code and coding and decoding would be done and so that will take little longer so meanwhile let's go to the what is next step uh, okay so uh, go to the hive warehouse directory and list the all categories table contained i would suggest so okay somehow this is uh, okay my secret okay here we'll be listing our data so your laptop should be strong enough uh, like to run the quick VM and the map it is jobs because uh, that all depends on your machine hardware how fast it can respond so uh, Hadoop is good for you know like technology like uh, we can say uh, distributed technology so we need multiple load multiple core huge RAM kind of thing okay so now you can see the snappy files has been created okay now let's go to the java output directory which is locally created okay remember this thing this uh, directory would be created locally and uh, for each table there is a uh, pose would be created if we want to see it one of the content then we can go java output and then this is the pose with the greater setter method so a lot of import statement their category and for each field you can see like public and format version some protocol version result set cursor category id as a primary key and okay, for category id there's a getter setter method and there are other equals methods and many uh, entire java class would be created which is helpful to uh, get the your data imported so let's don't go inside this that is just for optimization purpose if we want our scope to be run faster or some customization we want to do so that's all about this particular uh, problem statement okay so i would suggest you keep uh, doing practice or using the different different op uh, uh, options so like here we have used hive import okay so directly go into the hive warehouse directory hive overwrite means overwrite the existing table and create hive table if not there then it will create import the data create a hive table if already table exists then it will overwrite this three option we have given codec is has been provided to compress the data and this is the location and number of members is three so three partition would be created as we can see here three partitions would be created so thanks thanks for watching and i suggest please subscribe youtube channel or window channel
to get the notifications thank you and keep visiting how to pick them dot com we are keep adding new and new things even existing product would be upgraded so you can get the information only from how to pick some dot com you have to visit to get that information thank you thanks for watching i hope you like this session